Hey guys, um, today's video is on dealing with losing your parrot, especially when the loss is not due to age, um, old age. One of the things that I always say is, you know, people say, oh, be careful if you get a parrot, you gotta commit, you know, the parrot's gonna live a hundred years. And um, the thing is, you know, some parrots can, some do, but uh, parrots are like people, you know, they die at all sorts of ages. And when it's illness, it sucks. And so this video is about how to deal with that as best we can, um, because I have a friend who just, um, I think lost one golden conure and the other one's sick. And it's a big, big problem. Uh, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrot Bliss Bond and Get to Know African Grey and Cape Parrots, both books available on Amazon. This is River, we also call her Baby. <clears throat> if you're used to hanging out, thank you for being here. Let's start talking about death in parrots. Oh my goodness, might be appropriate for Halloween. have a YouTube friend who got two golden conures and I couldn't quite understand I think one of them has died and the second one um, may need shots injections for the rest of its life kind of thing uh, I think I'm dealing with that I think I know what's going on I'm not 100% sure but my friends really upset because um, a lifetime of shots would you know it's not easy um it's also i'm trying to find a good place here it's also not inexpensive there's a cost to getting those shots all the time and um it's just you know a, a change a really big change and like i said i think one of his parrots did die one of his golden conures um now i have i well let's see so I think my friend's upset. My guess is he's really disappointed. Uh, and I can relate because I have lost two golden conures. One we knew was um, having problems, like it was a rescue. And um, we just knew, you know, we wanted to give it a, a good end if, if that's what was gonna happen and it did. And then this year, if you've seen some of my videos, I lost uh, one of my macaws to PDD, which is proventricular dilation disease. And now I think it has a new name. Uh, it's an awful thing. They aren't able to digest their food, so they get really thin. And originally it was called macaw wasting disease because it's like they waste away. It's just horrible. Just, just, it was really heartbreaking. Um, the, you know, to me, the thing about life is there's no guarantees and, um, there, there are difficulties, disappointments, and heartaches, for sure. Uh, it just happens. I actually had mentioned in one of my videos that green cheek conures are pretty hardy because, you know, there are some species that just sort of do better than other species. Unfortunately, golden conures, they're, they're kind of delicate and they do, you know, they, they can catch things. Um, but, you know, I've been watching um, Tyler Henry on Netflix. He's a medium and, you know, he's pretty darn good at connecting to the other side kind of thing for people where their loved one has passed away. And while that's certainly not my specialty, I'm hoping to help my friend here because I've had other people say that too, you know, that like they're really disappointed and sometimes they're like, I don't want another parrot because mine died and and just, or, or, you know, in this case is really, one of them is really sick and, um, and it's just really disappointing. And so I'm hoping to sort of ease some of that feeling and sort of change some of, of that feeling by saying the following. Uh, I completely understand that because I've been in those shoes and with Cami or Macaw, the shots didn't even work. So we didn't get a choice and that's, really uh, that that's hard 
Um, Paloma has the same and the shots are working. Um, so I do have to give her a shot every week. I don't know, like, I'm like, how long can that go on? And it sucks because she's in quarantine. Like she, you know, I can't have her exposing the other birds. Now, it is said that um, it's possible that avian coronavirus causes PDD, but they, I, my avian vet said that that has not been scientifically linked, so they can't quite say that. And then I have heard statistics that like 30% of domestic parrots have coronavirus, and then I've heard statistics that like 90% do. So you know how the internet goes, there's just all sorts of information out there and, and I don't even know how they would measure it accurately, you know, how would they know? Because it's not like they've tested all our homes, all the birds in our homes, but it's, it's a tough game and life is a tough game. Um, I have had babies in the nest box that don't make it. Uh, and then, you know, I have some parrots that seem to be getting old and, um, you know, like, like the Amazons, they're more hardy. Some of it is, uh, like some species do better than others. Some of it is just life. And so I have cried my river of tears over the parrots I have lost by all means. But I, I had this, this, uh, incredible experience when, when, when I went through everything with Cami and stuff and in my experience, one of the things that happened is I decided that I really needed to focus on the parrots that are alive. And, um, you know, I just, I chose to really love, um, love the parrots I have, still feel love for the ones that are gone and recognize, like I've really had to shift my perception and really shift my perspective um, and I, it, it has really helped me. If you watch my videos, you know that I've actually added some parrots this year, like the Quakers and Bella, our new Gala, who is a rescue. Uh, but I've had to take on this mindset, mantra, if you will, of I'm gonna see my parrots through. It's not, I don't, to me, it's not the parrot's fault that if they get sick, it's life, it's like, guys I I just had a cold and I don't know where it came from I like have a suspicion I think I know you know I was visiting with a friend who I think I got sick from but I can't prove it I don't know um, it happens it's the flu season one of my neighbors just got her flu shot and so I kind of feel like I'm not gonna beat life I'm not gonna stop diseases I am going to do my best. I am going to take care of my parrots. Um, I really love my parrots. They're my bliss. And I, I just have really taken on that perspective. Now, I don't know if that helps you or not. For me, that perspective has been a process. It's been a process from trying to see what I can do for my parrots. You know, it's really nice to take a sick parrot to the avian vet and have her give me a magic bottle with a magic uh, little syringe that, you know, the kind where you just put the food in their mouth and then magically have the bird get better in three to five to seven days kind of thing back to themselves. When that can happen, it's phenomenal. And then I have had others where, you know, it just doesn't work. It just, there's just nothing to be done. So, I have um, tried to super clean the cages. I bleached everything I could touch. I tried to revisit their diet. I tried to revisit and like use probiotics. I, like, I have done everything I could and I finally was like, you know what? Um, I'm gonna keep doing everything I can, but I'm gonna stop trying to keep everything super duper clean and like kind of stop being so focused on on trying and I'm gonna really focus on enjoying and loving my parrots that's not easy to do because I'm busy taking care of my parrots I'm busy taking care of my family I'm 
I'm busy trying to get my videos done. I'm busy, busy editing them. I'm trying to write books. Like I'm, I'm busy, but so it's a, it's a constant readjustment. One of my friends a long time ago said that life is like sailing a ship. You're constantly correcting your course because you know, the winds and the waves of the ocean take you off course. And I, I guess I feel like that's life and, and parrots are like that too. And so I'm constantly readjusting my course to just enjoy and appreciate <laughs> my birds no matter what. So I'm hoping my friend watches this and that he can take some of that on. It's not easy. I'm not saying it's easy. And um, if it makes you feel any better, you've had one loss and one that's sick and needs you know, probably constant shots. I've had more, if that helps any. And it's just because sometimes when we feel like we're not all alone, like we're not the only ones this has happened to, sometimes that helps. So you're not the only one it's happened to, um, but I've had it worse because I've had more than one loss. And um, I'm, I'm actually in a waiting period. I'm waiting to see if my second macaw gets it. I kind of know what the incubation period is. And and my my other cape so i understand the hell that that can be i understand the incredible heartbreak that that can be um i i have worked very hard to be with that to let myself go through that process to do everything i could to come out the other side and on the other side uh, i'm still sad sometimes like I, when i see pictures of cami it's still pulls in my heart and I'm and I'm putting pictures of macaws in my book and so like I'm seeing pictures of Cami and it it's um you know I get feelings of it's not fair she was robbed too early because she was so young she was so young like parrots are supposed to macaws are supposed to live 50 to 60 years and she didn't get five you know so like I can get into that like I can feel that way those feelings come up for me and then I readjust and I focus on the spark she had and I focus on what a phenomenal bird she was. I focus on the love that I, I had for her and the love that I feel like she had for us. And that makes all the difference for me. That makes all the difference. And I know it's tacky and corny, but I come back to the old Shakespearean, it's better to have loved and lost. I totally feel that way with my parrots. Having parrots has been one of the most amazing experiences of my life right after my family um i i adore my family they're everything to me right after uh, my own spiritual path parrots have been the most incredible gift and i don't i'm not done with that gift i love loving them i love taking care of them and so i hope that helps because i know i know how hard it can be so with that note if um, if you found this video helpful, you can always send a super thanks to help me support, to help support me in my mission, which is to help people increase the bond with their parents so that it minimizes the need for rescues and um, so that they have that incredible experience. Because parrots, when you, when you weather the storm and you get to know your parrot and you make it to the bonding stage, it's incredible. I think after my family and after, like I said, my spiritual path, Parrots are the best relationships I have. I adore my parrots. Um, and of course, family, extended family, after the people in my life is what I mean, just so that you don't think I like parrots more than people. Some days I do, some days I like people more than parrots. It just depends. Um, but so if you would help me in my mission, support my, my mission, that's awesome. Uh, if not, please be sure to like and comment. I really like reading your comments and it helps it helps the juice, which helps my mission as well as my channel grows. I appreciate that. And then I will catch you in the next feathered video. Thanks guys.